Hi there, I'm Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm very excited to be able to show you today our latest creation, Hans Zimmer Strings. Hans believes that the magic of sampling happens when you create something impossible in nature. And this is what we have here, 344 incredible string players playing beautiful instruments in the amazing acoustic of Air Lindhurst Hall in London. This plugin was created in collaboration with the design and user experience agency US2 and is presented in AU, VST and AAX formats. There is a wide variety of section sizes to give you the maximum possible color palette for your compositions and music productions. Let's jump straight in with a look at 60 cello section. We'll go to the short notes and check this out. So here we have 60 players spread out over the floor. And if we listen to some of the longer techniques, then you'll hear what effect that has. For example, on that Colenio Tratto with the back of the bow. So it's an incredibly quiet sound, incredibly difficult to play and difficult to record. But with those 60 players, it really gets a full bodied sound behind it. Let's listen to the Super Soul Pont again as extreme as possible. and the super flautando as a point of contrast. Now, maybe you wanna hear what the full section sounds like just playing normally, full bodied. Let's check this out. And I'm gonna look at vibrato. Now switching to our normal long note technique for playing more than one note at a time. And again, watching the dynamic and vibrato sliders, check this out. So you can see that the cellos go up really high. But a very, very expressive sound and really beautifully silky. One thing we found was that having more players made the sound almost like an Egyptian cotton thread count. It just became silkier and silkier. 20 cellos, right hand side section. And I'll start with the consordino patch.
So let's have a look at some of the other sounds within this 20 cellos section. I'm going to show you super solpont. When we use the word super, it just means get the players to play as solpont as possible. So you can hear one of the effects of having a lot of players is that you really do hear the note quite clearly, but the artifacts are dialed up to the maximum and it gives you a very hyper real sound. Another way to hear this is to listen to Colegno Tratto. This technique is rarely recorded because the act of drawing the wood part of the bow across the string doesn't produce much sound. However, when you have more players, you get the note, but you also get those beautiful artifacts. Have a listen to this. So really incredibly soft and lovely sound. So check out these tremolo consort. Now, if I go back to the signal controls and I flick the left right button, I can use the right hand cello section on the left. Let's check out Tremolo Solpont. And we can always make this sound even more gigantic by putting a load of beautiful hall reverb on it. but let's take that off again for now. This is one of my favorite sounds. Tremolo consord solpont, but recorded in waves. And so this is conducting the individual players in desks to do things at different times so you get a beautiful kind of undulating effect. Check this out. And a similar effect can be had from the tremolo harmonic waves. So you can hear there that we've got a different type of sound, a different texture coming in. Let's look at the short notes. Let's look at 60 violins. So I'm going to use here in the filters, the violins button, and then load the all in one. Again, switching to the signal mixer, I'm going to put in the close and the outriggers. We had a little bit of ambient mic this time. Check out the normal longs. Let's switch to the consordino technique, which is the muted strings. A 
And here again, we've concentrated on getting these vast number of players to play really beautifully, soft and gently. And so let's check out the Super Flow Tambo. The Colleg Tratto again. You can hear all those gorgeous little textures coming and going. And the Super Soul Pont as well. And having this number of players, again, it really makes that sound very, very dense and wide. Um, and part of the reason for that is that when you have, when you're recording a section sol pont, usually to one side, um, you might get the odd little scrape here and there. But when you have a whole vast array of players all playing the same technique and making it as scratchy as they possibly can, you have this uh, incredible cloud of sound that undulates around the room. And it really is quite extraordinary. It's not, not a sound that we've ever heard before when we started recording this. We were just going more and more extreme and trying to push it, you know, how much more soul punk can you go before the note literally disappears. Let's check out the shorts. So you can even get quite a soft dynamic out of these players, even though there are 60 players. Of course, you've got things like the Pitts Bartok. And if we look at the next page, we have some great effects in here as well. So a really useful grab bag of sounds in there as well. Let's check out the basses. Let's start with the Bartok pits. Colenios. And if we page back through the articulations, let's listen to the bass harmonics, which with this size section is a really very beautiful sound. For this, I'm going to switch to the signal mixer and I'm going to put in the close and the outriggers. Very beautiful sound. And this, in fact, would benefit from some of our reverb. And I'm controlling it here with the knob and selecting on this side but I could also switch to the controllers view and you can see what controllers are available here. They're greyed out when they don't apply to this technique. So here we've got a little bit of our hall reverb and check out what effect this has. So a really lovely effect to have access to there. Let's check out the straightforward longs. And of course, our short notes. Basses tremolo.
Tremolo Consort Solpont Waves. Again, you can hear the kind of conducted effect of having different sections of players doing different things at different times. Uh, interesting to see what this long super soul pont sounds like in the basses. Okay, let's move on. Let's check out some of the individual cello sections. Let's check out the cello galleries section. And this is 20 cellos in the galleries at air, which are up high. Um, and this is a very interesting sound because we've got some close mics on these cellos, but we've left everything else as it is. All of the other microphone setup is exactly as you would expect. So you'll find this quite interesting. If I switch to the signal mixer, if I turn those close microphones off and just leave the decatry and the outrigger signals, which are down in the hall, now I'm playing this on uh, Bartok pits so that you can hear uh, the the ring of the hall very clearly. But this this kind of thing for a very distant choir kind of sound is incredibly useful. If we put the close signal back in. This sounds very different from the Bartok pitzes that we recorded down in the hall. And the reason for that is that there's a time delay between the close signal up in the gallery, right next to where the cellos are, and then the sound hitting the tree mics and the outriggers and all of the other mics down in the hall. Let's look at some of the other techniques and I'm turning that close signal off for now. And just check out the, the effect of these distant cellos. So it's a really lovely, silky, kind of coral, airy texture. Really, really lovely. And when you go to the super flare tandos and things like this, these really, really exaggerated flare tando sounds. I'll play this as loud as it will go. And again, Looking at the signal mixer, we put the close signal back in. And you get a mixture of that kind of beautiful kind of swimming sound um, with the texture of, you know, the close signal up close to the players. So it's a really lovely um, effect. And if we listen to the pizzicato as another example. without the close signal. So lots of fun there. So if I scan through, you can see all of the different techniques that we've recorded across the different sections of instruments. And the 60 violins, 20 center left and right as well. Wide violas and narrow violas. Let's have a listen to those. And let's start up with our all-in-one. I'm going to set the same signal mix and let's check out first of all the harmonic waves tremolo. And you can hear these moving, moving around. Um, I'm going to set the violas on here and I'm going to show you a comparison of the short notes with the wide violas and then the centre section violas. 
That will give you a good idea of the differences in these sounds. And now let's check out the very different sound of those centered by violas. And we'll put the same mix up. Now there's some really lovely sounds in here. One of these sounds is the strummed pizzicato. We've got some great effects, but also uh, the tratto colenio. And if we compare the long articulation, the long notes, with the wide viola long, with the same mix in the signal mixer. Get a really wide range there. So before we finish, let's look at one of the individual violin sections. So one of those three twenties that we've recorded down on the floor. We've also got the violins, 20 violins up in the gallery, but let's concentrate on these uh, right hand violins for now. We're again set up in the signal mixer, the same mix. And let's start with the long notes. So a lovely sound there, the consordino, the muted violins. Looking at some of the shorter articulations, the strummed pizzicato. It's really, really delicate. Our Bartox. Harmonic tremolo, this is a lovely sound. And looking at our super flat hand there. And a lovely tremolo consort with these violins. Thank you for watching this overview of Hans Zimmer Strings. We hope you're going to find it as inspirational and creative as we have. We'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.